People, it's 17 degrees cooler than our hottest day from a couple of days ago. It's all about perspective. Speaking of, El Paso is in the middle of a surge of COVID infections. And Stephanie, you spoke to a virologist and he was passionate about this. Yes, Eric, you heard him. Dr. Germán Rosas Acosta says the science is constantly changing, which is normal because this is a new virus. But he's giving us a look at what we know about it as well as the antibody tests and how to protect ourselves. You see increasing cases first, then you see increasing in hospitalizations, and then over time you see increasing deaths. Mm -hmm. Now, the mutation that has been reported is that so-called the D614G mutation, and it has been indicated that it might actually be making the virus more infectious, so easier to transmit. Something that I've been noticing in different articles, uh, news and also research articles, is that they're finding that this is not necessarily a respiratory virus. This is something that, yes, you can breathe it in, but it's vascular, where it seems to be attacking blood vessels. And that's why we're seeing so many symptoms throughout the body, not necessarily just the lungs. It has the ability to trigger the formation of a small small clots in the bloodstream and a lot of the effects that are associated with this disease are due to that you have little little clots and then all of a sudden one of those clots leads to the formation of a larger clot and then you have a stroke or you have a you have a heart attack in people who were previously fairly healthy people who shouldn't be having that at this time. Um, it has been demonstrated, for instance, in New York, they observed this, that all of a the sudden they were having strokes in people in their territories. They had five cases in less than a week when typically in a, in a normal time, they wouldn't see not even one in a whole year, strokes in that age group. So this is associated to the effects that this virus is having in the circulatory system causing those those clots and one of the side effects of infection with this virus has been amputations with that test um i understand that there was some i guess inefficiencies in that in that it was detecting that you had been exposed to any coronavirus is that correct do you want to talk about that all of the tests that are currently approved will only tell you yes or no you're positive for antibodies against this virus but they will not tell you two things. Number one, they will not give you a quantitative measurement of how much antibodies you have. And number two, they will not assess whether the antibodies that you have have neutralizing activity against the virus. We cannot equal having antibodies against the virus to being protected against the virus. I think that the best solution to all of this is having a vaccine that confers a good level of protection for at least a year. The hand washing and um, the distancing, but also the masks, and until we get a vaccine. If you wear a mask consistently, that number is going to go down dramatically, which means the new number of infections in town will decrease dramatically. If you consider the fact that the simple wearing of a mask can have that effect, I think that it becomes obvious that it is a very small sacrifice to bring down this nightmare that, that, we, are, that we are seeing, right? I mean, it's, it's 